lovely week. It is Wednesday today. It's just gone. It's just gone six o'clock and I have finished work. I have a corporate job that I used to do out of Canary Wharf in London, but since COVID it's kind of become mostly remote. I can go into the office sometimes, but when I work from home, it does mean that I've got quite a good chunk of the evening to enjoy for myself. This evening, Sam has got after work drinks. He's got a leaving do. So it means that I've got the whole evening to myself. I value my evenings so, so much. I truly believe that a good day starts the night before. And I do have a morning routine, but it's short. Like I can't have a four hour morning routine and nighttime routines are where it's at. My evening routine. I go to the shops to buy my dinner every single evening. I absolutely love the process of cooking and really celebrating the food that I eat. I probably sound really cheesy, but it's true. I love being able to plan my meals and cook something new every day. This evening, I am really in the mood for creamy pasta with like fake bacon bits. So I'm gonna use the Deliciously Ella uh, if you don't have it, I really recommend it. It's so cheap and I look at these pastas. I mean, I've just tidied up my space, but I haven't been able to light a candle and I love being able to light a candle. So I need to go and buy some new matches so I can come back, light my candle. I just think it's special every single time. I, I think there are a few things that there's no such thing as too much of a good thing. And I think lighting a candle, I think having a bath, every single time I sink into a bath, it's just like this, giant sigh of relief and peacefulness and calmness and I can have one every single night and it never gets boring. So those kinds of things I just try and incorporate as much of into my life as I possibly can and I don't restrict myself and say like oh I only have a bath once a week and it'll make it more special. No, if I love it that much I'm gonna do it every single night. I really recommend the steps in my evening routine and if you also work a corporate job like me then I hope this will be helpful for you. And yeah, we can just spend a lovely, cozy and productive, but not in the hardworking sense of productive, in a lovely sense of productive that sets you up well for the next day. We'll just spend a lovely and productive evening together, so. Living in London, I actually really hate that, like I can't go for walks in the evening because I'd love to be able to go for a walk after work and in the summer, I love it so much, but in the winter when it's dark it just it just doesn't feel that safe so basically my walk to the shops is the equivalent of my evening walk <laughs> so that's probably why i also do it every day like i go to the shops every day so that i can go for a walk every day um because that's as much as i get out in the evenings in the winter which is probably bad but yeah just personal preference really but anyway let's go get some food what I got. More oat milk, mint tea because we ran out, some pasta to top up our stocks. I honestly am just way too hungry to wait until dinner's ready so I'm gonna have my favourite crisps with the smoked hummus. Honestly since I discovered smoked hummus, normal hummus just doesn't quite cut the mustard so I'm gonna be having that. They had the key ingredient, which is the bacon. Sam eats meat and he still loves this. So that's a good rep for anybody that hasn't tried this. It is divine. And you know, Sunday morning bacon sandwich. I was not willing to give that up going veggie. So that will do me for carbonara and for breakfasts. Cashews because they're key for making the creamy sauce and some spinach. Honestly, I really wanted kale, but they didn't have any, so um, that's what I've got.
forgive Taylor Swift in the background. I've just realized I've forgotten my matches. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to have a bath in an evening without any matches. I need my candle. I'm not going back out, I can't be bothered. How annoying, I just said before I left I needed matches. Oh well. Never mind, never mind, never mind. delicious yeah you have to make this there's obviously not a recipe but whatever I just did divine look oh creamy carbonara on a Wednesday night what a treat what a treat it is now let's see how long all that took me because I know I faffed around it's seven o'clock so not too bad actually went to the shops came back made dinner took an hour yeah I've still got like three and a half hours left of my chilled evening I mean <laughs> I know I sound so lame and like so giddy about how much I enjoy it but I just feel so lucky like it's so nice the fact that I've got all this time that's just completely to myself outside of my job yeah super grateful right time to enjoy this because I can barely restrain myself from gobbling it all up right now so I'm gonna go do that So I like to take off all of my makeup and kind of do most of my skincare, like not all of it, but I like to do some of my skincare before I get in the bath so that I'm not like washing my makeup off, all the grim stuff from my day, like into the bath. So yeah, I'm gonna take all my makeup off now. For me with skincare, I feel like I've tried so many products and honestly, Keeping it basic is the best thing that works for me. This um, Exuviance Gentle Cleansing Cream I absolutely love. Every time I've ever, which to be fair is not very often, but any time I've treated myself to like a root proper luxury facial in London, they always use this stuff. I love it. You can usually, you can get it from Amazon and if not from Amazon, then you buy it from like an actual, what are they called? Like places that you get a facial. Why am I blanking on what I'd call that? Whatever the name is of somewhere you can, someone tell me in the comments. What do you call a place you get facial? You can either buy it directly from them or you can get it from Amazon, recommend. Anyway, I'm gonna now take all my makeup off and get ready for my bath. I am now all fresh faced. I've taken all my makeup off and I'm now gonna jump into the bath and I will see you guys afterwards. wrinkly <laughs> but yeah it's now um about five past nine which is pretty perfect to be honest because I do love to come like into my bedroom where I'm going to be sleeping really early I find that the longer that I spend in here the easier and quicker I get to sleep I have a herbal tea with bed without fail every single night either mint or turmeric and then I have ginger tea during the day and 
I think one of the really good things about setting routines and rituals is that it, your body, they like trick your body into expecting what's next. So for me, honestly, like when I drink a mint tea or a turmeric tea, my body literally starts to like calm down and shut down and it knows that like bedtime is coming. And it's because I literally taught it to expect that. It's like the behavioral science of Pavlov's dogs. <laughs> like they ring the bell and they salivate um, because they know that food's coming. And that is honestly what it's like with tea before bed for me. I have a cup of tea and my whole body goes, ah, oh, time for sleep. This is another thing that I always really, really recommend. I've read articles about the benefits of going to bed laughing on the quality of your sleep. And um, if you've heard of Mo Gordat, who is considered to be like the happiness guru, I suppose, he also talks about going to bed laughing and he watches comedy before he goes to sleep at night. And I think, well, if it's good enough for the guru of happiness, it's good enough for me. So when I watch TV before bed, I know you're like supposed to limit screen time, which I haven't quite cracked yet because I do like to watch TV before bed, but I make it something super lighthearted. And honestly, I never ever have nightmares or an anxious sleep or get disturbed during my sleep if I watch something really heartwarming and lovely and funny before bed. So, got my mint tea and now I'm going to pop the telly on and get into this mammoth amount of laundry that I've got to do. So guys, I am all tucked up and ready for bed. I am absolutely exhausted. It was a relatively stressful work day, work day today. And I think that combined with the fact that I literally sat in the bath for over an hour means that my body is just totally shut down. So um, yeah, I think it's about quarter past 10 now. So quite early for me but it means that I'll get a proper jump start on tomorrow, which is the whole point of a lovely evening routine. So I am more than happy with that. I am so excited for next week's video. I am gonna vlog the whole trip with Sam in Bath and I'm so excited for like a proper romantic weekend. Um, and I'm sure we'll watch the Six Nations and I'll vlog the whole thing. So please do subscribe if you wanna see next week's video and please do let me know in the comments if there are any night routine elements that I should be adding to mine or what are the favorite things that you do to wind down at the end of a long day. Thank you so much for watching. It honestly means so much to me and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Night guys.